and I have to choose her race. I'm going to register Yuri at a last school. This is Yuri. She is new in our class. Can you guys welcome her? I knew that there would be not so much diversity at Yuri school. We have visitors. There's a reason black people don't live in Idaho. <laughs> Do you yes. think it will affect her stuff it like that? He was like, he was saying ni hao to me. 90% that I see living here is black. Hey guys! As you guys know, we are in Idaho for James schooling. He got accepted to the school that he was actually going to. He wants to finish schooling here. That way he doesn't lose any credits. This place is the first place that we came ever when we moved to the United States. So we're kind of familiar with it. We felt like you know we know this place rather than trying to go to another new place. Ah, and also I changed my eyeliner. I had an eyeliner that are like can be easily smudged. I used to use a pencil eyeliner. I changed to liquid eyeliner, which doesn't really smudge or anything. But yeah, I like it a lot. Mm. <laughs> As you know, Yuri and the Somi started going to ballet. They're really enjoying it. Like they've been like begging me to register them in ballet class. So as soon as we move back to the United States, I registered them in ballet. And also I registered them in gymnastics class. So they go to gymnastic classes twice a week, ballet twice a week. He's admiring us. Huh? He had dreadlocks or no? <laughs> yeah, he used to have. Yeah. Oh, no. James is an ugly dude, man. He's so ugly. <laughs> it's hard for me to say. Okay. We have visitors. Elsa had jewels. Elsa. Again. Again. Yeah. I love Elsa. <laughs> she wanted Elsa hair yesterday, so I did it. And then the Sumi was Anna, right? Sumi, good shit. Jax her. is here with us. Jax, what's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so BJ visiting Idaho. Yes. And he's in love. What do you think? He doesn't want to go back to Denver. <laughs> what do you think of Idaho? So Idaho is Idaho. <laughs> There's a reason black people don't live in Idaho. It's cold and there's not a lot of black people. <laughs> right? Right, baby girl? Like all he was saying when we we're outside today in Idaho, he was like, man, there's so many. There's <laughs> so many white people. So many white people. Here and there's like no diversity. The most diversity we saw was on campus. <laughs> and even on campus, it was still 95% white. James was the blackest dude on campus. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with Yuri's school? There's one Spanish kid. Uh -huh. And there's one Asian kid. Really? So, yeah. Chinese looking. Hey, look, look at my baby. <laughs> and then Yuri's the only black kid. How does it make you feel? Her baby young. Because it has to affect her self-identity. Has it affected her self-identity? Or do you yes? think it will affect her self-identity? Sort of. Hmm. Sort of. What do you think, baby? I don't know. Probably that. I mean, she's well taught, so. But uh, yeah, I think it will. I tell her, no, they're going to move to Colorado where it's way more diversity in Denver than it is here. So she'll see more Asians, more Blasians. Not as many as California or Seattle, but definitely more than Idaho. Hmm. You know, I worry about that, you know, for my son. I really do worry about it for my boys. Because I, I can tell them, I can instill them with all the confidence and all the knowledge in the world. But if it's not, if they don't see it in life, yeah. it'll make them question it, right? Yeah. So seeing people who kind of look like you just adds to your self-confidence. Not saying that you have to only be around people who look like you, but being isolated and being around people who are opposite from you will make you kind of question your self-identity. That was the actually one of the reasons I was very, very hesitant about coming back here. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's this is the first, yeah, this was the first place we ever came when we came to America. We just felt comfortable. It's you know? comfy, yeah. But, but after he's done with school, I'm out of here. Like, really. Come to Colorado. We'll go to Colorado. Come to Colorado. The only reason why I'm going to go to Colorado is because I can <laughs> be buy close that to you guys. huge container of kimchi. <laughs> and that makes my wife happy. So <laughs> once I get that big container of kimchi, instead of buying like four, five, nine, 
So he came back with really big kimchi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All kimchi, man. Chinese cabbage. Hey, green cabbage, okay? No, read it. Ah, uh, ingredients. It says Chinese cabbage, radish, green onions, ginger, garlic. Yeah. Come on now. Even kimchi is Chinese. The Chinese are taking over, man. Okay, oh. it's Korean cabbage, okay? Goodbye, come here, man. This is more important. Hey, come here, boy. <laughs> come here. Okay. Hey, say truck. Truck. <laughs> Have a me. Say truck. Truck. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say this all the time. <laughs> hey Jax, one more time, come here. Hurry up, one more time. One more time. Come here. Hey, so do you like Thomas the train? Yes. What is what is another train? Thomas's friend that starts with P. What's his name? Um Um Dave. Is it Percy? Yes. Say Percy. Percy. <laughs> <laughs> you like Percy? Yes. Say his name again? <laughs> I'm a bad father. Yes, you are. So, um, you're a terrible father. No, no, it doesn't work when I see it. <laughs> Dear viewer, and it's time to have you a kiss. Good night. Hey, what? Hey, hey, hey! What you saw me? You saw me? You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love the iPad. Bye, good night. Good night, girls. See you guys in the morning. Do you want Daddy to go? Just stay with us. Hey, Jack. This is so cute. Get the phone to Jack. Jack's gotta go. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, Jack is so cute. Okay. Hey, thank you, buddy. Go give Auntie Lily a hug. Give her a hug. <laughs> you don't want to go. <laughs> hey, give her a hug. Hey, either you stay here or you call me and you have the iPad. Which one do you want? iPad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, winter is really long here, so James decided to buy a bike trainer. I was, I was not tired. I was just kidding. <laughs> it's tough, Yuri. Huh? I'm going up the hill. Oh, I'm going up the hill. I'm behind you. No one's coming with me. Honey, it's only brought a food to Oh. Because <laughs> I have mine. She wanted that on. I want mine. No, that's mine. Man, I have a cool kids. They're cheering me on. No, 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 no. Do you want to see my way on the back? Uh -huh. I'm going faster. Wow. <laughs> She's trying to move. That's what means riding her scooter. She can't move. Oh, she can't move. <laughs> Yeah, but then why does she need her food then? <laughs> why does she need snacks? <laughs> she can't even move, she can't really do...
We came to Walmart and we went shopping and I had to <laughs> vlog right now because something really funny or kind of cute in a way or whatever thing happened. We're shopping at Walmart. This boy, I think he's about like 10 or 11 years old. And he was saying hi to me and he was saying ni hao. <laughs> He was like, he was saying ni hao to me and then Yuri and the Sophie were like laughing and they obviously they didn't really understand why he said ni hao but they started saying like ni hao, ni hao, ni hao, you know, so they started kind of like singing almost. <sighs> that was kind of interesting because obviously he thought that I'm Chinese and I'm supposed to speak Chinese. If I were actually like Chinese American, I would probably like be, I don't know, offended or something like, hey, you know, I'm American, blah, blah, blah. I'm from Korea and he didn't mean any harm. I thought that was cute. Uh, I said ni hao back to him. <laughs> I mean, I know Chinese, so yeah, might as well. I said ni hao back to him. But anyway, so, I have on a clothes. I And actually, three years ago when I was here, some kids actually, again, they really haven't really met anybody from Asia and they never really met somebody like me. So at the time when they asked me those questions, like, where are you from? What language do I speak? Like, it didn't really bother me, but today it didn't bother me either. But like, I just felt like, okay, now I experienced more diverse society and community like Virginia so now being asked with those questions seemed a little weird because nobody asked me those questions in Virginia but then now like you know people are asking me those questions and like hey where are you from or like somebody says ni hao to me and that was a little bit <laughs> I don't know like interesting America is a huge country and has different communities here and there but definitely I could feel that like oh wow I'm in countryside white community I'm not trying to judge anybody here I think not being exposed to other cultures or other people can make any person from any culture or race act like this little boy at Walmart I could see from his eyes genuinely showing interest in talking to me and he really thought I was Chinese even when I went to Kenya a lot of people said ni hao to me did I get offended? not so much I could see they were genuinely interested in saying hi to me I actually taught them annyeong instead and I really appreciated their willingness to learn other cultures I hope you don't understand my intention when I say white community or black neighborhood when I first moved to Virginia I said everybody in my neighborhood is black 90% that I see living here is black, black people. It's nice because I'm just describing the neighborhood or community and it's just very different from my own country full of Korean. My point of view might be different from yours, but I try to be real with you on how I feel. Let's go home. Bye. No, no, no. But we are the talking. Today is a very special day. My mom is coming to where we live. Yes. 